Okay, so today I'm going to show how to create an 8 gigabyte flash drive El Capitan bootable with Clover with Windows instead of uh, Mac. But the problem is you have to get an El Capitan app. So it's like a chicken and the egg thing. But anyhow. You need boot this utility to create the first partition for Clover. That's very important. It automatically will download and upgrade uh, to the newest Clover. And the next one you need to do is to get the 7-zip for extracting zip file and the transmac and partition manager from Paragon the free version so and also you need read write everything to extract the ACPI table for your laptop or the desktop with those so the clover, you need to put some cacks in there. Okay, it's time to extract DSDT and SSDT from your computer. So use read write everything, run as administrator, click DSDT save as bin and save as all file add the extension AML in the end okay start from SSDT from the left and name it as one every time you save it and add go up the number so the next one move to the right and the next one name it as two So this one is has well, so it has four SSDT table. So extract them all and name them accordingly. In the end, if you want to get the uh, product ID, click the appropriate one and save it. So create a text folder for 10.11 and put the three important CACs is the uh, fake SMC uh, Voodoo PS2 controller CACs is for your pad and mouse and also the AACI uh, port injector if your BIOS doesn't support it and create a custom config for your laptop so you can go to download my um, config sample on my website but important thing is the graphics and the SM BIOS if you choose the right one then your hacking talks will run very well okay so this is the most important part of Clover beside the ACPI table and the CAX to boot from. You also need some of the uh, .efi um, files for iMessage to work you make sure you get the UUID uh, from your computer each one has it in the BIOS. The ROM values is actually the uh, MAC address of your Ethernet built in. Make sure you have that.
Okay, so now it's time to open with the 7-Zip um, the app. And notice that the DMG, we're going to extract it about two or three times. So watch it. Uh, when you extract it, it's going to take a while, depends on the computer, because some of them is like five or six gig. Okay. The important one is to use boot disk utility to restore the base, which is only 1.2 gig onto your flash drive. Make sure that one is done first. And then after that, you can use Transmag to delete uh, and copy the packages folder over to it. But, you have to resize the partition from 1.2 gig to 7 gig using Mac uh, using the um, Paragon Partition Manager. Also, we can't extract the kernel from the Windows, so you have to go and download the kernel uh, file to put in the uh, system library kernels folder that you have to create it. So this is Paragon uh, Partition Manager. So just follow the instruction resize it and use Transmag so every time you want to copy something you just right click and copy to here so the first one you want to do is to delete the alias then right click and say copy to here copy the whole folder package is in the uh, install ESD okay it's going to take a while for this one so it's copying so you need to download the kernel and put in the kernels partition so put it on the desktop and then just copy it into the system library to prevent uh, the error zero when you install uh, copy every I think four files from the uh, ESD install ESD which is the um, base DMG and the security thing so all four of them and put in the uh, root of the flash drive So if you want more detail on how to do this one, especially with all the files that you need to download, uh, go to the website and um, go to the tutorial there. Uh, I will have all the uh, information.